Hello all and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Emily and this is Emily Pops. And in today's video, we have the second instalment of the £10 CEX Challenge. If you weren't here for the last episode, we did. We got three games for the 3DS for a combined total of, I think, £7. So in here, we have my games. If I pick 3DS again, I will be redrawing. Can't get the same console two games, two times in a row. So today's console has been pulled out. Today's console that I will be getting games for is the Xbox 360. Oh, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. I was hoping I was going to get the Xbox 360. Um, that, that, that's some good stuff. I'm going into Chorley today. I've not been shopping there for about two weeks now, so there might be some new stuff. So, yeah, we've got £10 to buy some Xbox 360 games. So, let's go. Okay, I am back from town. Um, I'll show you all the stuff that I got um, to begin with that aren't anything to do with the series because everyone likes seeing what I buy. So first up, for £1 I bought this Coca-Cola glass. It's purple and it, purple is my mum's favourite colour. So I got it for my mum. Um, next up, what have we got? I have got quite a few DVDs. Starting off, we have Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico. Uh, I think I might already have this, but for 30p, you can't really say no. Next up, we have a cardboard sleeve cover of Scooby-Doo and Cyber Chase. I've never actually watched this film, so I do need to give it a watch. Uh, I think I do own it in my Scooby-Doo box set thing I've got over there, but it's a cool new set. Next up. I have got the Pixar shorts. It's got seven Pixar things in. Knick Knack for the birds, Mike Snooker, Jack Jack Attack, One Man Band, Lifted and Tokyo Mater. So that's everything on the back. Pretty cool. I tried buying this a couple months ago, but they don't accept card for anything under a pound and there was nothing else I wanted. But it was still in, still there, so I bought it. And finally, the last DVD I got is literally just for my mum in case she wants to watch it. And it's Coronation Street out of Africa. Um, never heard of it, but it's Corrie and my mum likes Corrie. So there's some DVDs I bought. Moving on. Hopefully you can't see the games I bought. That's a game I can show. Uh I got another DVD, which is just a Shrek and Shrek 2 double pack. Thought it looked really cool. It was only a pound. So again, can't really complain for a pound. Um, I ended up getting two games. But first up is this wreck it Ra Art of Wreck-It Ralph. The book looks really cool inside. It's very beat up. It cost me four quid. But I looked on eBay and these sell between 20 and 40 pounds. So... If I do what, wish to sell it, it's profit. Uh, but I just think this looks cool and I think I'm going to take it to my dad's because I think my dad would appreciate this as well because it's like you look on the inside and me and my dad love art so this is a really cool one. And finally, games that aren't part of this series. I got a steel book which has been in this charity shop for weeks now. I was going to buy it uh, when I last was in that charity shop but I didn't have, I couldn't, I just didn't buy it for some reason. Um, and that is a FIFA 16 steelbook for the Xbox One. Uh, I picked it up because it's a steelbook and it was two quid. I know you can get FIFA 16 for the Xbox One for 50p, therefore you'd probably be able to get the steelbook. But for... For, for £2 for a steelbook, you can't say no. 
So I finally picked that up. So that'll be cool to add to my little steelbook collection. And finally, I got a PS3 Essentials and good news. I got a PS3 Essentials disc. Get it! It's taken long enough. But I got Mass Effect 3 for £1.50. It's not what I have. And obviously I'm collecting PS3 Essentials. And finally, the games that I picked up. I ended up getting five games in total, spending the entire £10. So I'll show you what I got. First up, we have Bioshock 2. I've never played Bioshock, but I've seen people play it and it looks cool. And I just like the cover. It's very shiny. And I almost picked this up the other week just because I like the cover. So that's Bioshock 2 for £1.50. Uh, next up is Fallout New Vegas. Um, I have a friend that is playing Fallout at the minute. And I've seen play it play through of Fallout New Vegas and it looks cool. So I thought I might as well give it a go. So that cost £2.50. Then we have a game that was £1.50. Uh, and it is Metro 2033. Um, I don't actually know what it's about. I think it's a first person shooter. Uh, it says fight your way through suffocating darkness and despair and that's the back of it i thought it looked pretty cool and i don't own it and then we have a very popular franchise i believe and that is hitman absolution never played any of the hitman games so pick it up for one pound fifty and finally the last game i picked up was three pounds in total picked it up because i've never i've never seen it before and it comes with it comes with three gate three different games so three games for three pound um yes please and that is the ultimate action triple pack tomb raider sleeping dogs and just cause 2 on the xbox 360 and as i said i've never seen this before and the fact it comes with three games you can't you can't not that's a pound a game so that is everything I got. I'll show you all again. Five games, £10, average £2 a game. I think I got some decent ones there. So yeah, that's everything I got today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, remember to like, comment and subscribe. At this time of recording, we are closing in on 400 subscribers. We are only 10 away. And yeah so if you want to help me reach that goal do click the subscribe button down below and i will see you all next week good